Have you seen the Arrow Fun Fold? I tried it years ago and had some difficulty getting it to lay right, but watched a video by Mixed Up Crafts recently and her directions were so clear I was able to make them easily. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and in this video I'm going to show you how to make easy A2 sized Arrow Fold cards. Sam's videos showed larger sized arrow fold cards, but I wanted A2, so I played around with the measurements and will share in this video. Here are the cards I made with this fun arrow fold. The first two combine techniques from last week's video on updating the tarnished foil technique with this fun arrow fold. I am loving these foiled embossed backgrounds and there is a link in the description box to my video to show how to make them. So this is the first card and again that's that tarnished foil background and the arrow fold and then when it opens up we see a pretty leaf and um, of course more details on these cards will be available in the des description box. There will be links to my blog posts. Here's another one of the tarnished foil backgrounds, this time in the copper. And I like decorating these little um, pieces that stick out um, with something. So um, I put a flower and some beads. And then on the inside I have Thinking of You. Now a couple of these cards I made with the new um, Altenew Wide Washi Tapes. And um, this, this one here is the pretty blue. Um, again, more details will be in the description box. Um, I put it on a um, blue wood background and um, again added some flowers. And then on the inside, I like um, doing something with this area here. Um, it isn't required, of course, but on the card I'm going to show you, I put a flower there. And this is a thank you die from Karen Berniston with another punched flower. This is the card that I'm going to show you um, how easy it is to make this um, awesome fun arrow fold in the A2 size. I use this um, Altenew's, it's Altenew wide washi tape, it's called Floral Flurries wide washi tape and applied that to some white cardstock um, before um, we do our cuts and our and our scoring. Um, I use some butterfly punches and some gems and then um, on the inside I, I cut out another pretty flower from that same wide washi tape and this thank you again is from Karen Berniston and another punched butterfly. So um, that's the one that we're going to be um, doing in today's video. Um, first I'm going to show you on a template um, and then I'm going to actually show you on the card itself um, how to make this. Um, I played around again and created a template for the A2 size. So your, your A2 is um, four and a half by eleven, uh, I'm sorry, four and a quarter by 11 and of course you fold it in half it's a top folding card and then you're going to mark the center of the bottom which is two and three quarters and then mark the sides also at the center which is two and one eighth with a pencil and again I'm going to show you on the card and then you're going to do some scoring to the from those points and that's what's going to create this easy arrow fold then there are um, layers that go on top and you could just do one layer if you wanted to but I'm really liking the look of the two layers here. We have the deep red and then that Altenew covered um, washi tape paper there. So the measurements of those are the larger of the two which is the deep red is 5 by 4 and then you cut from the center down to from the corner down to the center of that piece which is at two and a half so you're creating triangles so if you can picture um, this was a larger piece um, and then you cut it 
um, down um, and again I'm going to show you that um, and then the second piece was four and a half by three and three quarters um, and again you cut from the co corner down to the halfway mark which is two and a quarter and then these two pieces get layered together so that was the smaller piece there and they get layered together to create this really effective lovely look of these um, side pieces as well so that's the template, um, but I'll show you again on the actual card. So this is the A2 card base, and um, we are going to do some measuring and then some scoring on this. So um, again, this is um, an A2, so the, the width is five and a half. So you're going to mark at two and three quarters on the bottom and then on the side you're going to mark at two and an eighth and then you're going to score and I found it easier to do that scoring right on my score buddy and I have a line drawn with a black permanent marker there and then that tells you exactly where you want to start and finish where you want your starting point and your finishing point to be so um, I have the corner in that black line and I have that uh, point here in that black line and I'm going to score with my good Teflon bone folder from there to there and then you turn it and again looking for that black line that's the easiest thing to do um, we're going to start in the corner and we're going to score down to that middle point then on the sides we're going to start again at that middle point that I marked and um, we're going to score from that point down to the center point again. And then from the other side to that same center point. Now from the inside, we are going to fold. again up and then that second fold gets folded down from the back and all of them should meet in the center so we have the beginning of our, well, it's the arrow fold, okay? So, um, we're going to use a tape runner to tape these down. the base card. Now on the next size, which was, I had it somewhere, five by four, the center, what did I do with my ruler? There it is. The center of this is um, two and a half. So we're going to mark it two and a half. And as long as I got the ruler out. On the center of this one, which is, um, well, let's measure it. 
four and a half by three and three quarters. The center would be, um, yep, there it is, <laughs> two, and a, two and a quarter. And I like to work from the back on these. It doesn't really matter, but then you don't have to worry about getting rid of those tick marks. Now these are going to be cut. So um, once again, you're going to use your cutter and or your you know the, those uh, dots, the the corner down to the center, and then. From this corner down to the center. Now, the first time I did this I got confused as to what was the um, actual bottom of the triangle so um, I'm going to put them just that way um, while I finish this up. Um, so from the corner to that center mark and then from this corner to that center mark and then we're going to put these together with some more of my favorite dots roller. Do I have the right? I don't think I do. It's this way. See that having the right point on, no, oh, okay, let's figure it out, Garn. Where's the bottom? There it is. Okay. See that dot? That has to be on the bottom for these to line up. Okay. And then this is how that's going to go on. And there's just a nice, perfect little border around if you attach it correctly, which I didn't on that one, did I? Okay, let's try it again. Let's make sure there's a... Okay, that's good. So this is the bottom. And that's going to go on like this. Making sure it's straight up on the top and down. I could have it straighter. Which is nice when you're using this dot roller. You have a little time to work with it, right? Uh, so let's get it straight on the top and then border on all sides. And a little pink border on both sides. I just, I love the look of that Altenew white washi tape and the look of that fold. I just think it's unique and different. Um, I like to have a um, something here. It looks okay without it, but I just I like, I think it's prettier to have something um, there. So I'm going to put a little, I cut out flour from that same 
washi tape roll there. And then I'm going to glue on a happy birthday. which is my favorite cheerful happy birthday from Karen Berniston. This is my favorite fine tip glue that I also buy at Karen Berniston. It works so well for attaching die cuts, most of which are too small to use a tape roller or other method of attaching. It's a little bigger than I thought, but because I changed the sentiment for this one, but it's okay that it goes across that side a little bit. Like I said, I like to decorate these pieces here with something, so I've got some punched butterflies here that I punched out of the washi tape. Um, so I think I'll use this one and some glue dots. And I also punched out a couple larger ones, but now that our happy birthday is that big, do I have room for them? Oh, sure, I can put one there. Almost out of these. But I can't live without my glue dots, so I have more. And then I had some gems, because I don't know, I have a rule that butterflies need gems. Probably don't, but I always do. So I'm going to put the pretty gem there. And a couple here. And so our Aerofold card, our pink and red and white um, pretty card with some butterflies. And then on the inside, this one's going to say Happy Birthday. Um, pretty Altenew flower there as well is complete. I'm loving how these A2 Aerofold cards turned out, both with the Altenew wide washi tapes and the updated tarnished foil backgrounds. I hope they inspire you to try this easy Aerofold on your next cards. Thanks for watching, sharing, subscribing, and commenting, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.